Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's second video, day 10 will take us until the 5th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS. It's on ensembles, maybe on down a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and we'll have a look at JMA as well. So we've not done JMA Friday, so it's kind of like a 10 to 14 day uh, mini JMA Friday combined today. And uh, I should get on that view in a moment. Reason not to Jeremy Fraser, I've uh, started a job this week, a second job, and I'm off to work at uh, for two, two o'clock. So I've uh, got to get on with the video and uh, then uh, get on my way. Working gap with two jobs. <laughs> By the way, got a couple of uh, super thankers to shout out. I'll do that on tomorrow's 10 to 14 day when I've got a bit more time. Uh, right, let's start off with the latest win from Matt. Thank you so much, everyone. Hope you have a lovely Friday. Let's start off with the latest win from Matt from Earth. No School.net. Low pressure is out in the Atlantic, but high pressure has built over and to the east of the country. And so we're bringing in the wind from quite a warm east southeast direction. But weather from in the west is going to be pushing east or through the weekend, but will be a weakening and diminishing feature. And uh, next week, going to be turning potentially very warm under high pressure as well. More about that a little bit later on. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're looking at Torquay today, down in the southwestern country of the English Riviera, as uh, Basil Fawlty <laughs> would have called it. Um, no, it's starting off quite close to average at the moment, very close to the Gulf Stream. Starting off very close to average at the moment with your bread temperature. They're on their way up. Look at that. Going to have a real push up in the upper air temperatures as we get through to next week. So around the turn of the month, around May Day. First of May, looking uh, really quite warm then. And then we see the upper air temperatures both starting to come down and revert back closer to average as we go from the first week into the second week of May. So probably not going to be very warm all that long, but that's probably the first real push of... Well, it won't be heat, it won't be hot. So you're probably hearing, like, heat wave, you know, uh, in the papers and that. Um, so, I mean, I suppose compared to average, it could be classed as a bit of a mini heat wave, but it's not going to be like... I don't know, 30 degrees, you know, what we really think of as a heat wave, but probably getting the temperature into the mid-20s, which uh, for late April, beginning of May, isn't too bad uh, at all, and will be way above uh, long-term averages. So briefly, uh, or, you know, briefly very warm next week, and then see the uh, temperature coming back down again. Precipitation wise going to be a bit showery as that weather system comes across the country this weekend, but it will be a weakening feature. Very, very dry, really, through most of next week, and even in the extended, you know, there's a few precipitation spikes, but doesn't look particularly unsettled. Uh, I, I think the ongoing pattern of the spring, which has been very dry, is set to continue for the next couple of weeks, anyway, with just a few interruptions here and there. <coughs> Excuse me, so sorry everyone. Right, so uh, temperature normally is for the next five days to the 30th of April, significantly above average. Six to ten day temperature anomaly even more above average. And ten to fourteen day temperature anomaly. Back to tonight for May. May starts to come down and revert closer to average. So clearly for warmest periods in the first week and then the second week, uh, that's when we start to see things starting to cool off a bit. Uh, precipitation anomalies, the next seven days of the second of May, uh, substantially drier for normal. The uh, 8 to 14 day precipitation anomaly also coming out generally on the drier side. Right, let's start going through chart data then. This is our latest UK Met Euro road on the midnight on Monday. High pressure started to build up for South, turning things mostly dry. And then through next week, high pressure sort of sitting over to the East Country, gradually starting to ease away towards uh, East Europe. And then beginning to re-establish out to the west of Scotland by the end of next week. So that's where the cool down comes from. So during this period, around the middle of next week, of course, we bring the wind up from a southerly or southeasterly direction. That's where the push up in the temperature comes from. From, <coughs> excuse me again, frog in the throat again today. <laughs> uh, then we get when we get to the end of next week, though, high pressure starting to relocate towards Iceland, and that begins to allow some cooler air to start to come in from the north and from the northeast, I guess. Just in time, bank holiday weekend, but it's still high pressure dominated. So even though bank holiday weekend, although cooling down, I don't think it's going to be uh, particularly unsettled. Won't confirm that by a few more days. <laughs> uh, right, I can't again putting that high pressure up from the south on Monday. Lots of dry, warm weather coming through with that, and then the high pressure sticking around the country through to the middle of next week as well. Plenty of high pressure taking us all the way up to. 
uh, the end of next week. But again, a relocation of high pressure. So initially, uh, we're bringing up those southerly south east. It's quite warm. But by the end of next week, we start to bring the wind back around to the east of the north east. Changing wind direction is what accounts for the lowering of the temperature by the end of next week. KMA looking like that. So once more, lots of dry, high pressure dominated weather and warm through the um, through most of next week. Towards the end of next week and into uh, the uh, bank holiday weekend, well, changing wind direction to the north-northwest brings cooler air in from the north, but it's still high pressure dominated, so it's still dry, but cooler. That's how we get to get the end of the KMA. But by then, we're bringing down a proper old northerly, so feeling really quite chilly. In fact, you wouldn't rule out the chance of a return to um, some damaging late season overnight slight frost there, I don't think, with high pressure out to the west, low pressure to the east. A few showers could be running down the east coast with that as uh, well, so not completely dry. Uh, we still have a GFS midnight run is looking. So, again, we have high pressure domination throughout most of next week. Change in wind direction later next week. Allow something a little bit cooler to start coming in from the north and from the north east. That's how we'll get to day 10, which is back holiday Monday, of course, Monday the 5th of May. Um, and by then, the high pressure is sort of centred towards Iceland. Some cooler air uh, coming in from the north. And then towards the end of, uh, uh, into the second week, I should say, so beyond day 10, well, still high pressure dominated even then, it is cooler and then bring down some proper uh, quite cold northerly winds as we get to uh, the second weekend of May and find the winds shifting around to more of a northerly so chilly with that, in fact probably quite cold, I I guess, with uh, the chance, anyway, of some overnight frost. So it will still be a case of covering up your delicates there as we get into the second weekend of May. GFS 6 there, by comparison, again, it's all high pressure, high pressure, high pressure, mostly dry, sunny and warm through most of next week. High pressure actually sitting over into the east country still to the end of next week, so no cooler northerly uh, with that. And even like today, 10, which is the 4th of May, maybe the 4th be with you, um... We have got... Oh, hang on. Let's flip that over. Yeah, no, that's right. Okay, let's go backwards. Let's go back. Sorry about that. Every one about yesterday's run. Right, so we start... Forget that happened. Start off with high pressure again. Building up rubber sound as we go through uh, the early part of next week. This is how... Uh, we look on Tuesday next week, again, high pressure, most dry and warm. Wednesday next week, again, plenty of high pressure domination there. That's Thursday. Then that's when we start to see the high pressure begin to pull out to the west. So some slightly cooler air begins to come in from the uh, northwest. That's next Friday. Uh, get there, get to bank holiday weekend. Mostly dry, but a little bit on the chilly side uh, with that. And then the high pressure is over and to the west of the country by the uh, 3rd of May, Saturday, uh, week tomorrow. So mostly dry, but cooler uh, with that area of high pressure. And then further on, River Bank on the weekend, heading up towards day 10, we find the high pressure pulling further away. So cooler air coming in from the north and from the uh, northeast there. As we go on into the extended range, uh, we find the high pressure building up towards Iceland and Greenland, with low pressure down to the southwest. That pulls the wind around to more of a southerly, southeasterly. Um, no, very briefly cooler, and then turning milder, though, later on through the second week of May. But also more unsettled, that low pressure down to the southwest could be throwing up rain bands uh, across the country. When we get through to the uh, end of GFS run gets to the 10th of May. We've got a low pressure to the southwest of uh, Iceland and uh, of Ireland and the UK, and we're drawing up that southerly, southeasterly. So, again, that could throw up some rain bands, and it's a warmer wind direction as well. There, well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for everyone for doing that. And want to drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers and get them to subscribe to. And uh, we thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. About 60 subscribers gets to, gets us to 19.7k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be absolutely awesome. And you could give us a donation via our PayPal page or via Super Thanks or Super Chat on the live stream. So that's absolutely awesome as well. Uh, this is a link to our PayPal page. So uh, go to our PayPal page. 
click through uh, the link, go to your PayPal account and uh, sign in, and there you can donate what you would like to uh, Gaz Weathers. And we thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that for us. Thank you so much, everyone. It really does mean uh, a huge amount, you know, all the support that we get. Please only donate if you can afford to do so. However, all donations are welcome, and, you know, we, 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 we welcome all donations, and we thank you so much, but please only donate if you can afford to do so. I don't want anybody going short uh, because they've donated, you know, to me and to Gals and Weather Bids if they can't afford to do so. Right, let's kick on then. So, uh, GM, again, high pressure building up from the south, bringing a lot of dry uh, weather through next week, mostly dry and warm through the early to middle part of uh, next week under that area of high pressure. Into the back holiday weekend, the high pressure begins to relocate up towards Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure developing underneath it. That's day nine. And then by day ten, we've got a proper blocking area of high pressure around Greenland. A trough of low pressure is underneath it, looking unsettled and quite cool with that. Uh, trough of uh, low pressure that we see there. So by bank holiday Monday, the gem could be turning things um, not only quite a lot cooler, but also unsettled as well. Let's hope not. Um, and then we'll do deeper rain. ECM finally, once more, we're building that area of high pressure up from the south, mostly dry and warm through the uh, early to middle part of next week. Better change at the end next week. High pressure pulls out to the west. Down comes this cooler, the northerly flow. The high pressure though still dominates into the bank holiday weekend, so no trough of low like the gems showing. Uh, just drier and cooler over the bank holiday uh, weekend there with the ECM. As we go beyond that, we find the high pressure going further north and northwest up towards Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure sinking in from the north. So yeah, Yes, beyond the bank holiday weekend, then it starts to turn blocked with high pressure around uh, the North Atlantic, ice to Greenland, trough of low underneath it, blocked, cooler, and much more unsettled there as well. And as we go further on through the extended with the uh, East Chevron, well, there's an increasingly unsettled look to uh, the weather pattern, cooler and wetter there uh, through into the second week of May. That's a long way out, though, so we'll wait and see about that. Up to day 10, it's mostly dry. This will precipitate your forecast based on that East Chevron from Twitter.com. So, rain in the west at the moment. That's going to ease its way eastwards overnight and through tomorrow, fizzling out as it does so because it's running into high pressure. And then high pressure really taking over then uh, throughout most of next week. Although, by the time you get through to the end of next week, a few heavy showers, plenty showers, maybe developing. Uh, down in the south. That's the cold front pushes south. Was interesting that cooler air for the bank holiday weekend. Again, it's mostly dry once that uh, front has pushed through. But as it pushes through, as the air is quite warm and humid around Thursday uh, and Friday, it does trigger a few heavy downpours. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 5th of May. 20 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure to the west and low pressure to the east. We bring down uh, quite a cool northerly flow with that. We've got 11 again with high pressure over and to the west of the country. Mostly dry once again. Winds coming in from an easterly direction. This time we've got another 11 with high pressure west of the UK and Ireland. And trough of low is to the east. And we bring the wind in from the north or a northeasterly direction. So that's cooler again, but a bit showery. And then finally we've got nine with low pressure through the north and the west of Europe. High pressure is out towards Iceland and Greenland. So it looks, uh, well, that looks genuinely very unsettled and quite cool as well. But of course, there's only nine going in that direction. The more the more um, probable scenario is that these ones up here, which is just taking the high pressure away to the west, turning it cooler, but probably still mostly dry. In two weeks' time, though, uh, this is the option that we've got. It will get us to the 10th of May. 51 out of 51 members of the East Shem Ensemble. There's some sort of a wheat ridge uh, there and a trough of low through here. Um, however, how does that tally up with that? Uh, not sure. <laughs> but anyway, that's the option uh, with all members uh, for the 10th of May. Right, let's just go through the uh, JMA and the CFS. So, I tell you what, we'll do it a little bit different, uh, opposite way round how we normally do it. Let's do a CFS week this first of all, then we'll have a JMA. So, uh, this is week one from the CFS, taking us through the 25th of April to the 1st of May. High pressure is right over top country. Imminent Week mostly dry and warm. Week two, 
will be the 2nd to the 8th of May. Low pressure out to the west, high pressure to the east. That was a little bit more unsettled and a bit on the showery side as well. We Three will be the night to the 15th of May. High pressure out towards Iceland to Greenland. Around that, we could bring something a little bit cooler in from the north and from the northeast. And then finally, week four will be the 16th to the 22nd of May. With high pressure around Iceland. So, mostly dry again. Winds coming in from the east. Probably quite warm uh, with those easterly winds. And then the JMA looks like this. So, a little bit of a mini JMA Friday. Week one taking us through the uh, Next week, we'll see high pressure over the top of the country, mostly dry with that, and warm, low pressure out in the Atlantic. We bring the wind up from that southerly direction. So high and dry and warm for much of next week. Week two will uh, be uh, a little bit cooler. High pressure is out to the west, then so, uh, dry up, but a little bit cooler winds coming in from the north. And then week three and four looking like that. So maybe a bit more unsettled then later on into May with lower pressure in the Atlantic and high pressure up towards Scandinavia. Then that's a two week anomaly, so it could be transition. We might still have a lot of high pressure, for example, in week three. And then week four might turn. Uh, a little bit more uh, unsettled then. We'll see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for doing that. And why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos, content, live streams, etc. etc. Et uh, don't forget to turn back down so we get to subscribe to show everyone for doing that. Tomorrow we've got we we've got the uh, six M forecast. We've got the um uh, the second season one round of the summer twenty twenty five coming up tomorrow. So I, uh, well, you know, I'm cutting down on content uh, a bit. I am going to keep long range going, hopefully. And so second. Uh, season one round at four summer 2025 coming up tomorrow morning um and 10 to 14 day uh, as well not sure about weekend forecast if i can squeeze it in uh i will but uh, definitely those three coming up tomorrow anyway uh right so you enjoy the rest of your friday i'm off to do my second job shortly <laughs> so uh have a great rest of your friday we'll see you again soon and bye for now